Well, disturbing images of suicide, decapitations, and characters urinating on each other are popping up in YouTube videos that are marketed for children. The titles are well known like Peppa Pig and Elsa from Frozen. NBC 15's Jamie McGriff takes a closer look at what could catch parents and children off guard. This story is just another reminder that you can't be too comfortable. Just because the title says children's video or children's app doesn't mean that it's 100% safe for young eyes to watch. YouTube is one of the most popular entertainment platforms in the world, especially with teenagers. But it's still a wild west. Those sinister creeps are finding ways to expose children to inappropriate videos. In Chrissy Campilio's case, she downloaded YouTube Kids for her daughter, expecting safer, age-appropriate content. You know, I mean, it was a lot of educational stuff. It was a lot of stuff like Papa Pig and, you know, PJ Masks cartoons and stuff. So you think that it would be fine, but it wasn't. One day, Chrissy says she put on a Peppa Pig video for her daughter Maddie while she was doing the dishes and noticed something was wrong. But I heard her whimpering, and I was thinking, you know, what's going on? And the next thing you know, um, I said, Maddie, what's wrong? And she said, they're hurting Papa Pig. So I looked at the iPad, and lo and behold, they were sawing the um, head off of the Peppa Pig dolls with the same audio in the background. At first glance, the videos look safe, but just a few unsuspecting clicks down the playlist, and there are scenes like this fake version of Peppa Pig with similar animation and sounds loaded with inappropriate content. I would say it could be pretty traumatic. Chris Humphreys is a cybersecurity expert. He says these content creators know how to get around YouTube's algorithms. They're actually embedding obscene or vulgar clips into current content, and then there are cases, too, where they're actually replicating or manipulating it and copying it all together to make it look like the original content. These videos can appear as recommended content and accessible for a child to click on. So how do you protect your kids? Kevin Levy is the commander of the Technology and Cyber Intelligence Section for the Mobile Police Department. And there's hundreds and thousands of apps out there. Um, find one that you're comfortable with and, and stay in tune. Don't just download it and walk away. Make sure that you're uh, sporadically checking to make sure what the content is. Also, don't forget to set the parental controls on all of your child's devices. And in the YouTube app, you can limit your child's playlist to include videos from verified sites like Nickelodeon, Disney, or PBS Kids. As for this mom and that YouTube Kids app? I deleted it. I don't use it anymore. You can also go a step further by handpicking every video or channel available to play on your child's video stream playlist. Jamie McGriff, NBC 15 News. YouTube says protecting families is a priority, and that's why it created YouTube Kids. The company says it's added resources to remove inappropriate videos for children and flag those only adults should be viewing.